Welcome to June's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is maximum area of a piece of cake after horizontal and vertical cuts. Given a rectangle cake with height h and width w and two array of integers, horizontal cuts and vertical cuts, where horizontal cuts is the distance from the top of the rectangle cake to the ith horizontal cut, so these lines here, and vertical cuts, which is the uh, distance from the left to right. Now, return the maximum area of a piece of cake after you cut at each horizontal and vertical position provided in the arrays, horizontal cuts, and vertical cuts. Now, since the answer can be a huge number, return this modulo 10 to the ninth power plus 7. So here we can see uh, if we cut the cake at 1 and 3 and 1, 2, 4 vertically, uh, our max area is going to be this cake, or this piece of cake here, which is going to be area 4. Now, notice that the cuts are not sorted in order. Uh, and it is guaranteed that all the elements are going to be distinct. Now, they kind of give you the answer straight out in the hints here, but let's just ignore these for now. Uh, say that we wanted to uh, figure out the max width. Say this was a 1D array, a one-dimensional array, and we want to find the max uh, width uh, from this array. How would we do that? Well, if we had like cuts from 1 to 3, what we would do is basically just sort all these cuts and then uh, figure out what the gap is from the ends as well. So we'd have to append zero as well as the um, the width of the array, whatever this is, n. And we just would find the maximum distance between um, you know corresponding index points here. We just find one minus i minus zero or i, I minus one and so on and so forth. So here we can see the max width is going to be well, depending on what the n is. Uh, here it looks like it's going to be two. Okay. So if we did that, if we can, that's pretty easy. We can just sort it and then figure out the gaps. How would we find the max area? Well, notice that this is a rectangle, right? That means that each one of these lines always cuts the vertical line as well. So all that would mean is we just need to find the max width and then find the max height. And since we know that these cross cut each other, we could just figure out what the um, max area is because obviously the max area is going to be the max um, width and the max height. Right, and there's nothing. It's really not much else to that. Okay, so let's um, let's do that. Let's first sort our arrays here, and we want to append the uh, ends as well. So what we'll do is just take this horizontal cut, and we'll uh, append a zero in the beginning, and we'll append the uh, let's see horizontal cuts. So this would be the height like that. We'll do the same thing with vertical cuts. Get zero plus vertical cuts, but this one is will be the the width. Um, am I doing this right here? Let's see. Horizontal cuts is going to be the height. Yep, and vertical cuts will be the width. Okay, so now that we have that, all we need to do is find the max width and max height. So let's um, first initialize max height and max width as zero. Now we'll say for i in range of 1 to uh, the length of horizontal cuts, whatever this is right now, we're going to find the max height. So this would just be the max of max height and the absolute difference between uh, horizontal cuts i minus 1 subtracted by horizontal cuts i. Next we'll do the same thing for vertical cuts. But this will get the max width, and this will be vertical cuts. Finally, just return the uh, product of these two. But remember, these, this can be huge. Oops. So we are going to do a modulo 10 to the ninth power plus 7. So modulo 10 to the ninth power plus 7. All right, let's make sure this works. Looks like it does. Submit it. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is going to be n log n plus m log m. Uh, and we use constant space because, well, I mean, I don't know if this counts as extra space. Technically it does, but considering that's just two extra uh, values here, uh, I think we can kind of, uh, <laughs> we, we can ignore that. So this would be constant space. Okay.
Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.